What's up folks, I'm back with another review for you. I actually had the prototype for this bag a couple months ago, but now I have the real thing. So we're gonna go through again, make sure everything lines up here. This is the Boost Pack by Sapphire. This is a life-changing book bag here. We're gonna get to say goodbye to dead electronics. That's right, this bag's gonna charge everything multiple times for you. So let's dive into the bag itself and then a little more about the technology behind it. We're gonna hook up a bunch of stuff in the house to see how powerful this thing really is. Let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start with the outside of the bag here. Really sleek design. I really like the style of this bag. So we got a front pouch here for you. There's a side pouch to slide some stuff in. We have a back zipper. And we also have another side pouch up here. A lot of room to slide in from the side here. So this outside, uh, the material here, this is hydrophobic, uh, which means it's highly water resistant. It's gonna be great for outdoor activities, snowboarding, stuff like that. We also see here rubberized zippers, again, to keep all the moisture out. So um, you're not gonna mess up any of your electronics in the bag when you're hiking or doing your outdoor activity. Now let's talk about the technology in this bag. So in your front pouch right here is where you're gonna find your plugs. There is a switch right on the top here, really easy. Pop it on, you're gonna get LEDs to indicate how much battery you have. And as you can tell, I'm American. Why do I have international plugs? Well, this is really cool. This is the first time I've seen this. They have plugs that can handle both. So don't freak out if you open this up and think you got the wrong style, they're all gonna work. This is just a regular plug. We also have some quick charge USB ports on the side to avoid those clunky cell phone blocks and bringing all that kind of stuff. You can just bring your USB cables and plug those right in. So if you get the version that only has one battery, which I don't recommend, and we're gonna talk about that in a second, but if you get the version that only has one battery, it's gonna come with this wall adapter and all you do is plug it in right here and you'll see the lights start to change to indicate that you are actually charging. So now let's head into the second pouch where we will find the battery. Let's talk a little bit more about the advantages of having two of them. Come back here, and this one is actually gonna open all the way flat here. And this is our battery right down here. We also have some slots for your laptop and for your tablet. Fit a lot of stuff in here. And this is really easy to change. So if you look over here, there's just a cable going into this battery. I'm just gonna pull it out. I take my dead battery, I slide it out. I replace it with my second battery that's already charged. Okay, so this is why having two batteries is gonna be necessary to eliminate dead electronics. If we have two batteries, we can always leave one charged and just swap them out when they die. So all I have to do is slide this into that compartment there. I take this plug, which only goes in one way, it's not hard, and we plug that back in, and now we're good to go. Now, if you decide to take a step into the future and live without dead electronics, you're gonna get the extra battery, you're gonna get a dual dock here to charge both of them at the same time, and you'll get your adapter to actually charge these. So, on the other side of this, there is a power barrel jack, all you do is plug this in, we take our battery, and when you put this in, you're gonna to wanna to put it in with the end going in first. So you line that up, put that in there, and push it down, and that's it. When this is charging, these lights will be red. As soon as these are full, the lights will go out. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not, but this battery is rated for 200 watts. So let's go ahead and put that to the test. So in a minute here, we're gonna to try to break this bag by plugging in random stuff around the house, but what you're probably actually gonna use this for is general electronics. And in that case, this bag's phenomenal. I'm gonna put a list over here on the screen. I'll put a link in the description so you can you know, look through this a little bit more in depth, but we'll go through a couple of these. So your smartphones and laptops, that's gonna depend on your particular device. And a little bit later on, I'm gonna show you how you can calculate for your device to figure out if yours will work here. But we'll average out some stuff here. Smartphones
smartphones you're gonna get about 10 recharges laptops anywhere from two to four recharges on your laptop we can recharge our, our drones here our camera batteries we can plug in lighting I mean this thing's a must-have for filmmakers uh, don't forget about your consoles right you don't want to be out and have your kids Nintendo switch die oh god forbid their face isn't in front of a screen for 30 seconds just plug it right into the backpack and they're good to go all right, so we know that this is gonna work with your regular stuff, right? But how many? How many phones can I plug in? How many laptops? How many this? How many that? We wanna know. We want to know. So how do we figure out what should work and what's definitely not gonna work? That's gonna involve a little bit of math. Don't get scared, it's gonna be really easy. So I have this big regular vacuum here and when we look on the back, it's gonna tell me 120 volts at 6.2 amps. And that means absolutely nothing to most people. But the equation is easy. We do volts times amps to give us watts, right? This bag is rated for 200 watts. 120 volts times six point, whatever that said, times six is way over 200 watts. So honestly, I'm not even gonna plug this one in. I also have a little heater notorious for drawing a lot of power. And we look right here, they even put the rating right on here. So sometimes you won't have to do the math. 500 watts. Again, not even worth plugging in. And here, a steamer on the bottom is gonna say 120 volts. It doesn't give us the current, but they give us 800 watts there. So if you have any device that is over 200, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna see if I can find something kind of close so we can push it. Uh, but in the worst case, we're gonna hook up a bunch of stuff here. All right, so I found a couple things that should work here. This is a fan. And the rating on this, 120 volts at 0.8 amps. This should work. I also have a 12 inch live speaker here. Now the thing I will say about this amp is it's only gonna draw the max power when it's all the way on blast. And I'm not gonna do that to my neighbors here. So this should work at full power. All right, we have our backpack on. I have a power strip plugged in and I have the amplifier hooked up. Now before I see if this is actually gonna work, uh, I know for a fact that this amp does have a slight buzz to it. So if we hear a buzz that's not a product of the bag and the power source, this thing buzzes all the time. So let's see here. Oh, huh? it's on. Let's play our copyright free music so we don't get kicked off. Let's plug in a bunch of devices. All right, I mean, this thing's so good, I actually, I couldn't even fit another plug in there, so now I'm going straight into the fast charge USB port here. And this is indeed charging. So let's put everything back on here. Fan, music, yeah. charging, charging, fan music. Laptop is still going. All right, well, that went very well. Um, I don't think anybody would ever have to hook up all those things at the same time, but we just got a live speaker, a fan on full blast, a phone, a tablet, another tablet, and a laptop. So if I had more devices, I'd throw them on there, but I think for your average person who's gonna have maybe a laptop, a phone, and a tablet, um, you know, this thing is a beast. You have no problem doing that. I just thought of one more thing that should break this. I'm gonna add the soldering iron onto what we just had. All right, so everything we just had, all the devices are still going here. No tomfoolery. We got the fan on, we got the laptop, we got this charging right here. And now, we see, does everything turn off? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Everything's still going. I think I missed the button. Oh, okay. It went. We broke it with the soldering iron, but I'm kind of happy that you guys got to see that because if you put too much stuff on this, what's going to happen is it's going to be like, ah, oh, I can't do all that. And it's going to turn off. It's going to turn back on. It's going to try it again. And it's just going to keep doing that over and over. So if you plug in stuff and the bag turns itself off and all your stuff goes down for a second, you got too much stuff plugged in. All right, I think that about wraps up the review of this sleek new book bag. It's a beast when it comes to the power, but also, forgot to mention this earlier, it's still gonna fit all of the qualifications so that you can fly with this. So 
no trouble um, traveling with these batteries. And as you can see, we can power a lot of stuff with this. Uh, my personal favorite is I have the Oculus Quest. The battery only lasts for about two hours, so I throw the backpack on, I plug it in, and now I can play all night in my virtual reality. So I'm a huge fan of this bag, and for that reason, I'm gonna be hooking you guys up with a discount code. So head down in the description, use the discount code at checkout so you can save yourself a little bit of money, and that'll help out because um, it is gonna be extra if you wanna grab that extra battery there, and head on over to Sapphire, check out what they got going on over there, and I'll see you guys in the next review.